Sometimes you need a, a threaded screw in a project box. In this case, this is a test rig for uh, my solar controllers. We were testing a whole lot of solar controllers. And I'm going to be taking the back on and off a lot, so I needed to have a, uh, a reliable hole in there. So as you can see, there's a threaded insert in there. And up in this corner you can see another one. And the benefit of course is it's much more reliable than just a, a threaded hole through sheet metal. These get cross threaded, they wear out quickly. For example, in your electric box, uh, these holes have gotten stripped out. Somebody was careless and cross threaded it. So I needed a, a new thread in there and this tool will work for that. If you're going to do something like that, of course, use safety procedures, turn off all electricity and all that. Don't ever work around live wires with this. Okay, and there's other places where you can use it. Screw. Rather than using this like a large bolt like I have in the past and welding it in there, you can use something like this. Or you can use it to replace wire away holes, threaded holes that have been stripped out like in this one. You may have seen a threaded insert like this one. This is brass and it is made to uh, heat press into a hole that's been drilled in plastic. This is the insert. You can see this upper part of it is not threaded and that's the thin part. That's the part that will get crushed and form the collar. And then at the bottom part is are the threads. And back to the top, there's this, this is beveled, you can't really tell, but that upper piece is beveled. So if you bevel the hole, you put it in and you set this thing in here and squeeze it, it'll basically be a flush mounted uh, thread port. Okay, so that's the insert itself, not much to it. Works an awful lot like a pop rivet, except it's not going to go snap. You're just going to squeeze it until you crush that collar up there. And we'll do a demo and we'll look at that. This is the tool. It looks an awful lot like a pop rivet gun. In fact, this one can be used as a pop rivet gun if you remove this head off here. But let me do a close-up and I'll show you the difference. This, this piece out here is different. As you can see, this head is different. It has this threaded piece up here. And this is one of the inserts. And what you do is you thread the insert on here. And when you squeeze, it's going to crush the insert, and I'll show you how it works. There's a little thin spot at the top of the insert, and when you squeeze this, it will pull the bottom up towards the top and create a collar right there. Now normally I would thread this tight up against this, but I want to show you that when I squeeze the handle, it pulls that back in there. And that is what is going to crush the insert and form that collar around it. But as you can see, the tool is not very much to it. This particular one will do three different sizes. I've got my threaded insert threaded onto the tool. The hole, the hole is drilled and you want a tight fit and that means you're going to have to put some effort onto it. Let's do a close up and we'll watch it. Yeah. So normally you'd want a tight fit but for the video I have drilled the hole out a little bit so it will slip in here easily and I don't have to struggle with it too much. So like a pop rivet you place it in here you get it nice and square and squeeze and you can see the collar expanding and it's not going to go bang like a pop rivet it just forms that nice little collar on there and then I 
I unscrew the tool. And there's our threaded insert. Well, I hope you found it useful and interesting in your home, electrical, and DIY projects.